Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the linear algebra. Today we will discuss about the intersection and the union of the subspace. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. What we have seen in our last class, what is the definition of the subspace? If you consider as a non-empty subset W of the V, then this W is said to be the subspace if it form a vector space under the same operation as that of the V R there. Or in other words, you can see a non-empty subset W is said to be the subspace if and only if this condition will satisfy. Or you can say the closure property with respect to the additions and the scalar multiplication satisfied. Once these properties are satisfied, one is a non-empty and the closure property, these three properties are called as the necessary and the sufficient conditions. Now our target in this presentation is we will see whether the intersection of the two subspace are the subspace. What is given to you, you can consider that W1 and W2 are the two subspace. Then your target is to prove this intersection is also with the subspace. So as per the definition, how you can prove that? You can take the two elements from their intersection and the field and you have to write their alpha and so on. So that's very simple. We can start from here. So let U and V belong to the intersection. What is the meaning of the intersection is there? It means this element belongs to them. This element belongs to here. What is the meaning of that? If u belongs to the intersection, what is the meaning of that? u belongs to the w1 and u belongs to the w2. So you can write like here, similarly for this. Now, w, u belongs to the w1, v belongs to the w1 and w1 is my subspace. What is the meaning of that? Their closure property is also satisfied because w1 is a subspace so the linear combination is also be here. Similarly for the W2, you can see U and V belongs to them. Since U belongs to them, V belongs to them, then alpha U plus beta U here. So from these two equations, you can easily see the linear is also belongs to their intersection and that is your required target. Instead of this as a two subspace, you can take as a n subspace, then is also being on, belongs to the subspace. How you can prove that? Again, you can take as the two elements, say U and V belongs to this, what is the meaning of that? It means u belongs to their intersection of the v uis and v belongs to the intersection of the uis. What is the meaning of that? It means u belongs to the each of the uis. Here v belongs to each of the uis. Once you will say and wi is my subspaces, what is the meaning of that? Alpha u plus beta v is also belongs to the wi. Why? Because each of the wi are my subspaces and alpha and beta is in the f so what is the meaning of that if each elements are there then definitely it belongs to their intersection hence this is my subspace so you can prove it similarly in this case instead of the two you can take as a n r remember that the intersection is the largest subspace contained in both w1 and w2 union of the subspace may or may not be the subspace so since it is may not be the subspace, we have to prove one counter example which will satisfy this case R. So that's very simple. If you consider as a V2, what is a V2 is my, that is a R2 vector space. I can consider as a R2 R. I can take any of the two subspace, that is a W1 consists of this x-axis, that is x comma zero is my x-axis, y-axis is my here. You can easily see that this is form a vector space or this form a subspace. Why? If you take any of the two elements are here, that is, this is say my u and v. And if you take as a line, what will happen? It will consist of all these elements and all these elements belongs to the w1. It means this is a subspace. Similarly, if you take any of the two elements on the v, w2, it again form a subspace. Now what will happen on their union? So if, if all of you know that if element A consists of the 1 comma 2, say 3 comma 4 and B consists of say 5 comma minus 3, what is the A union B? You can easily write this element as 1 comma 2, 3 comma 4 and 5 comma 3. This is my union. So same for here. If I write here, what is the union? Union is x comma 0 and 0 comma xr. That is all those in the, uh, this orange color as well as the green color. Now, can you say this form a subspace? If I take any of the two elements, say this element I can take, I can take the two element as say 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 2. Now, if you join them, what is the joining of them is? That is alpha and beta. 
so take alpha and beta as any value b you can take as any arbitrary value b so say assume this value is here then if you substitute this value you can get 1 comma 1 can 1 comma 1 lies here no because union consists of only those values whose second component is 0 or the first component is 0 but 1 comma 1 lies here and this point does not belong to the union it means this is not the subspace so remember that union of the subspace may not be a subspace if it may not be the subspace it means we have to prove under what conditions the union will be the subspace union of the sub, uh, two subspaces will be a subspace if either one of them contains other you can see if either one subspace contain other space. so that's uh, that's the uh, condition behind that so since it is a condition of the if and only if so let's see firstly assume that this will be here then your target is to prove uh, w1 union is a subspace that's a very simple what is the meaning of this it means if i consider this as my w2 it means this is my w1 and vice versa for here so if w1 is a subset of w2 what is the union about that because we need a union can you find the union of this yes it is nothing but my w2 similarly if you consider about here it means this is my w1 this is my w2 in that case what is my w1 union w2 this is nothing but my w1 you can see that and this w1 and w2 both are my subspace and they are equal it means w1 in union is also be the subspace you can prove the second part assume that w1 union w2 is a subspace and you have to prove this part we will try to prove this as a counter uh, 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 contradiction assume that this doesn't belong them what is the meaning of that it means if there exists any of the element in the w1 what is the meaning of that it means this u does not belongs to the w2 because w1 doesn't contains in the here so you can write like here similarly for this part if i consider as any of the element v is belong to w2 such that v does not belongs to the w1 now what is that your target is to prove either one of them so that's very simple w belongs to the u v1 and you all knows that this is the subset of union obvious that so it means if if u belongs to the w1 what is the meaning of that u also belongs to the union similarly v belongs to the w2 and w2 is also the subset of their union so it means is here and what is what is the feature of this this is given to you as a subspace if this is a subspace it means the sum of the element is also belongs to them so since this is my subspace it means here now what is the meaning of that what is that it means if it is belong to the union it means u plus v belongs to this or u plus v belongs to the w2 because that's the meaning of the union so it is my u plus v now we can start from here first case is when u plus v belongs to the w1 any of the other elements belong to the w1 here u belongs to the so what is the meaning of that so as w1 is subspace it is given to you so if it is a subspace it means their linear combination will also belongs to them so it, i can write like here it is also belong to w1 so if i consider alpha as say my 1 say beta is my minus 1 if you substitute here what will happen this is u plus v minus of u belongs to the w1 what is that this will be cancel out v belongs to the w1 which is a contradiction you can see v doesn't belong so it means i can start from here and this so by you since w1 is my subspace so i can write like here so this will be cancelled out it means v belongs to the w1 which is not possible which is a contradiction same for the second part we can consider the second case it means i can take here w1 union this any of the elements belong to the here this is v belongs to this so again i can take alpha and beta as a one and minus one you can see from this case it is again not possible it means because of 
v belongs to w2 it where is the v belongs to the uh, sorry this v will be cancel out u so u belongs to the w2 which is not possible hence our supposition of this is wrong therefore either one of them is containing so this is the simple proof of this uh, union and the intersections are there we will see another uh, next lecture on the linear span and the linear combinations till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning